So she was a big part of my life. Um, I would say about maybe two and a half to three months. I was pretty young back then. Uh, we were both young and stupid. Less wrinkly, but yeah, it went by pretty quick. And there's outside. Look how nice outside looks, but it's fucking cloudy. It is fucking cloudy. But um, I wanted to take a few minutes before I get my tacos. Because I should be able to get my tacos, right? So I was thinking about, uh, there was a Twitch streamer. Uh, she recently broke up with her boyfriend. And it got me to think about, well, I mean, I was going to do this as a topic anyway. But it has been 20 years since I was in a long-term relationship. Um, her name was Michelle. It's a common name. But uh, I met her on College Club. Now, there were two long-term relationships I ever had. The first one was Casey. That's not a real name, Casey. But Casey, I met in 2002. Okay, so I met her in August. My dad died around August 8th. But we stayed, quote-unquote, together until October 31st or sometime like that. And this was the, the the narcissistic woman. This was the narcissistic girl who knew more than me. Because, you know, us males at in our at in our 20s, we either got two things on our mind. We got sex or we want to party. Or we want to do some cool shit. Okay. We're just, we're, we're all over the map. And so Casey was in my life for, for that much time. And. She was always talking down. She criticized my hair that I shouldn't cut it short. Um, that my hair looked better thick out. Well, back then I probably should have agreed with her. However, these days my hair looks like shit. I mean, look at the one true force loneliness video where I was, you know, facing my oven, and my you know in front of my oven. That hair looked terrible. I mean, I just I can't, I can't now. But she criticized my dress and the way I my hair was. On some primitive level, yeah, I would I would think about her in a sexual way, but I think these days she doesn't look that great. Um, this was the one that when she was boinking her cousin, and she made it seem like it was her friend from school, but this was her dad's brother's son. I've talked about this story a few times, but um, yeah, push came to shove. No, I didn't want to be with her. Uh, one time we went to like uh, the Pomona Fair, the LA County Fair. And she knew how much money I was carrying extra in cash, and she spent every fucking dollar. She knew how much money I had. She knew. She was very calculating. Uh, she took me to a Jewish restaurant once to be cultured and sophisticated. Being cultured and sophisticated doesn't mean you're of a whole, my higher moral authority. It just means that you can do different things than other people. Uh, the last time she posted anything, she was talking about taking her her writing group, her creative writing group with her to go to the desert. And it's like, well, you got to find the desert within you. But whatever. Some people are, some people wanted to have Salvia when going to the desert with her. You know, I don't know what she's doing. Oh, no. Uh, she was working at USC. So, so she uh, is a teacher for English as a uh, second language. Uh, now she's teaching at a high school. That's pretty much it. She's not a YouTuber or Twitch streamer or anything like that. Or anything like that. Uh, but Michelle was the last one. So Casey lasted three months. But Michelle I met in March of 2003. As I was about to finish all of school. Okay, all of my formal schooling. And that lasted two and a half months. About like, like before my birthday. Before my 25th birthday. And I lost my virginity to her. Um, I remember when Casey would, would act like a, she hated, Casey hated the fact that my, my dick was hard whenever we got together in that way. Uh, whenever we were intimate, I'm like, well, are you into women? Are you a lesbian? What's the deal? You know, she just didn't like her, my cock around her. That, that's, that men cannot, not be the biggest insult. Yeah. So with Michelle, she like with Casey, you had to be as smart as her. Right? So she was narcissistic. It was about the mind. Her being better than you because you're a horny male and you can't think straight. And she, she's going to she's going to change you. She's going to educate you, right? 
That was Casey. Michelle was a slut. She lived in a trailer park with her mom. So it was all about her body. She was looking, she was easy. I met her on, on a, one of those instant messaging things. And with those instant messages on collegeclub.com, you could hit somebody up and like try to hit on them. Match Match You was easy, was a free website. Then they changed it to a, a paid, paywall uh, personals page, but it was free. Everybody could hit on everyone else. They took that away. That's why collegeclub.com is gone, okay? Because you took away the ability for guys to hit up girls. And so, because we're all going to just fucking do that. We're going to just hook up. That's the way it is. I always see on Tinder about hooking up. And it's like, um, so she was easy around me. We fooled around the first date. We did all kinds of stuff. Won't get into it because it's, you know, you could kind of think about it. I'll let you think about it. Um, short of eating her ass or um, short of eating her ass in 69, I think that's about it. She was a freaky girl. She was, she would get into cars with guys all the time. So with, with Casey, she was more left brain, but she was kind of a slut too. And Michelle was completely on the other side. And the pictures you saw were, were Michelle. Um, we met at a college. I drove her around a bit. We met up once a week. We fooled around once a week. Um, she lived in another city than me. Um, I think she was just looking for anybody to take care of her, and give her, and impregnate her. This girl would gain 30 pounds. She did it with her last boyfriend. She was going to do it with me. The last time I saw her was in, an, in a Facebook page on in 2010. That's when Richard Dawson passed away, right? And she looked like a guy. She looked like she had gained that 30 pounds. And she had a kid. Uh, the kid's blonde, so I don't think it's mine. Don't think so. Um, so she had a kid with somebody. I think she was single. She just didn't look girly at all. She, I mean, you could kind of see the pictures barely, but she kind of had a waist. It's just, it's, there's nothing there. Um... So after all that, after 2003, I was kind of hoping for some. I mean, I had flings that few far in between. I met somebody in 2000. You know, I made some mistakes in between 2003 and 2006. I was not a very smart person, but I won't get too much into that. But um, 2006, 2007, I worked on my book and completed it. Um, 2000, 2005 was the last person. And then 2012, I invited a girl over to this house. And then 2017 were the last dates I ever had were Tinder. Um, it was just like, for me, it was like, I was pretty much done. I was like, I didn't want to deal anymore with the same predictable nonsense. And I, I think, you know, I started in Yahoo personals and all that. And chat rooms. Gone are the days where I would meet somebody in the personals, right? Like whether it was Craigslist. I think I met one girl off of Craigslist. Gone are the days where you meet somebody or you talk to somebody online, you chat with them, and you're hoping they look, they look drop dead gorgeous. I mean, if I could think of somebody, okay. If they if they at least look like this, right? If they at least look like this, and you meet them and they look like freaks of nature. Okay, I, I'm basically prettier than the women I met. So I think those days are gone. But also, too, it's like, it doesn't, I mean, it doesn't matter now. I mean, like, I'll talk to people. I'm talking to one or two females. Um, but I really don't want to be taken for granted. I don't want to play house and I don't want to settle down. And the kid pays for mistakes. I mean, we talked about, we talked about Gannon Stouch. I talked about Gabriel Fernandez. Their parents were complete idiots. I mean, even even Gabriel Fernandez's dad is not guilty of anything like that, but he was not a smart man. I mean, you gotta you gotta have smart people hooking up, okay? Smart people, but people who are sexually into each other and stuff. And I think that's what it gets down to when it comes to loneliness. You know, do you really want to just not be alone, or do you want someone that really, 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 really means something? I mean, for us, we would want flings. I mean, Tom Lankus does not have the answers for you. Sorry, he doesn't. Um, but 
it gets harder and harder to trick the girl at the nightclubs now. It's you can't trick the girl. You can't trick her. Okay. I mean, either she wants to be with you or she doesn't. What is this? Uh, when a girl looks at you in the first 30 seconds, they know you know whether they want to be with you or not, you know? Um and sometimes but sometimes it's in it's in what you say too. It's what you say and how you say it that she'll she'll measure that as well, I think. Um but that's all I've really got to say. It's been 20 years. Um, I think I met her in July once more, but I think we have broken up in May of 2003. And she had called me seven times a day. She was really obsessive compulsive. I just, I was just too much, too much work, too much work, too much effort. Um, I'm just, I'd rather meet somebody, I'd rather bump into someone or accidentally meet somebody that really gets me going, really gets my energy going in every sense. Um, I'm 40, almost 40, I'm going to be 45 in a couple of weeks. So I don't, I don't, I'm not looking to settle down uh, in the formal sense and I'm not looking to play high school games. Does that make sense? And I hope that's the same for many of you that are watching this. So, uh I, did, I think I shot this before, but I wanted to make this right for context. I want to make this video right. I don't do much of these TFL videos anymore, but uh, I'm moving on. And I'm moving on to better types of females and better things. Well, if you like this video, if it's good enough for you, uh, you see those buttons below, uh, you know what to do. Two more days until Zelda. I hope you can hang out till then.